Hannah and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Today I want to show you how to make salted caramel sauce. I decided to share this recipe with you because you are going to be seeing it in a lot of the dessert recipes coming up so I thought it would be useful if you had the recipe as well. Of course you can always use store-bought caramel salt, salted caramel sauce, but this is super easy to make as you're going to see. It only requires a few ingredients. Let me show you what they are so we can get started. But you're going to need some heavy cream, granulated sugar, butter, salt, and vanilla extract. Here I have a saucepan on medium heat. Out of the sugar, I want the sugar to melt completely before I add the rest of the ingredients. As you can see, as the sugar melts, it's going to start crumbling up a bit and that's totally normal. You just want to keep stirring once in a while so the sugar can fully melt. So you can see it's starting to turn a beautiful golden brown color. Okay, that looks perfect. And now with the heat on medium low, I'm going to add our room temperature butter. Make sure it's room temperature butter. It cannot be cold, otherwise it's going to seize. And be very careful, this is hot melted caramel. Okay, it's going to bubble up just like that. That's totally fine. You just want to keep stirring. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium again. And I just want this to cook for like two more minutes. And then we're going to remove it from the stove and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I let this boil for one more minute. And as you can see, it got nice and dark. Now we're going to remove it from the stove. To this, we're going to add a room temperature cream. Be careful, it will bubble up again. We just want to keep whisking, 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 whisking until everything's well incorporated. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Okay, once that's well incorporated, we're going to add our salt. Whisk, whisk again. So it gets nice and mixed in. And our splash of vanilla. The caramel sauce looks pretty liquidy, but remember as it sets, it's going to harden a bit. Our caramel is done. I want you guys to see this beautiful consistency. Okay, so here I have the jars I'm gonna put it in. Oh wow, that's Beautiful. I hope you guys were able to see how silky, smooth, and velvety this caramel is. As you saw, it was very, very simple to make. I'm going to wait for these to cool before I put on the lid and pop it in the fridge. You can either put it in the fridge for about three to four weeks, that's how long it's going to last, or you can leave it outside at room temperature for three days. If, once you put it in the fridge, it's going to harden up quite a lot. It's not gonna be pourable. I'm gonna leave all the directions to preheat the caramel in the website. You just add about a tablespoon of water to this. You can pop it in the microwave for around 30 seconds. What I like to do is bring it back to the stovetop. Obviously put the jar in some hot water so it can soften up a little bit and you can remove it from the jar. I like to put it over on the stove top for about 30 seconds to a minute, add a little bit of water, same as you would in the microwave, and it's going to melt beautifully. This is my salted caramel sauce recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's super easy to make, so make sure you make this and you keep it on hand because it's a lifesaver. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so it notifies you every time I post a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.